<laughs> hey guys, it's Gloria. I'm obviously not a fitness influencer. I have been saying I wanted to work out for the past 10 years, and I've only started working out consistently about half a year ago. Why did I suddenly start working out? Well, the main reason is that my shoulders are fucked up from sitting in front of my laptop for almost my entire adult life. If I don't start exercising, I'm gonna be this 20-something with a 60-year-old chronic pain. And sure, it's also gonna make my body look better. I've always been skinny, but I've got no muscles whatsoever, so I don't mind getting some muscles, you know what I mean? Actually, um, let me show you how my muscles are looking after half a year of working out. Okay, let me embarrass myself and flex some tiny muscles. Okay, enough flexing. You're probably curious about how I finally managed to make the commitment to work out consistently. I've tried looking for fitness videos online and doing them on my own, but I couldn't even last for a week. So I had to find some sort of ways to trick myself into doing it. One thing I know about trying to build a good habit is to make it attractive and make it easy. Well then, how do I make it attractive? I went for the literal meaning. I went out and bought myself new workout clothes. You know, I gotta make it attractive. Like, literally. Okay, I know I was just making excuses to buy myself new workout clothes, but if it motivates me, so be it. This is actually the first workout outfit I bought for myself. I got this shirt from Lululemon. It's known to be a really good brand for active wear here in Canada, and I wanted to get myself the best stuff. These leggings are actually new. I just got them from Lululemon. They look similar to my old ones, but these are the new Wonder Train high-rise leggings. They're super stretchy and comfortable. I'm gonna work out in them so you're gonna see them better. Okay, now that I've got my cute workout clothes ready, how do I make it easy then? I decided to get myself a personal trainer because I knew having an accountability partner would make things a lot easier, especially when you're starting out. But remember, this all happened in 2020. You know, the year when COVID came into our lives and ruined everything. I did get to work out with my personal trainer at the gym for two months when the city briefly reopened in August, but then all the gyms were closed again in October, so we had to move the workout outdoors. It was only like 7 degrees or something, so it wasn't too bad. But then winter came. We had to move the workout indoors because there's no way I'm working out outside at under minus 10 degrees. I'm not Canadian. So yeah, I'm going to show you my updated workout routine at home. Well, let me get my trainer in here. Okay, I've got my uh, trainer Roman here. Hey. So Roman, how did we, uh, how did we start working together? So we started together in early August after the COVID, after the pandemic lockdown in Toronto. Yeah. When the gym started open again, yeah. and you find a new gym like closer to your new place. Yeah. So that's why like, we start together a good life. Yeah. What do you think is the benefit for having a personal trainer? So I guess in 2021, you have access to so many contents on the websites, on like YouTube, on like Instagram. And sometimes like when you start, when you're like, a beginner, you don't know where is the truth because like. Everyone have an opinion about something. Mm -hmm. So some people, even they have like a lot of followers, but that doesn't mean they have like knowledge. So mm -hmm. they just like have a good physique. So like when you start at the gym, like as a beginner, you can be like lost with like so many information. True, yeah. And everyone is different. So like for example, you have like an injury in, on, on your shoulder. Yeah. So we have to find a way like how to switch exercise to make sure like we don't injure yourself. Yeah. But you, you still progress on like this muscle or around this area. Yeah. Um, so that's why like having a personal trainer help you to uh, get a good program and something personal for like for yourself and mm -hmm. not pick like a random program on the website. Yeah. Even if you have the best program like on the, on the paper, yeah. but if at the gym you have the wrong form for like, each exercise, yeah. you have like more chance to get injured or like to don't like get like results that fast. Yeah. So I guess it's like it's the best way like to save time uh, and get like results is like to get a, a good person trainer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that leads to my <laughs> next question. <laughs> How do you recognize a good personal trainer? Um, so yes, yeah, a good a good question. It's like a tough question when you go to like a new gym. Mm -hmm. You can't be able to see like all the trainers. So for example, in my gym, we are like, thirty trainers. Mm -hmm. 
so like it's for you, it's impossible to say, okay, I want to look at the thirsty trainers and like to, to choose someone. Um, yeah. So like it's like very difficult. Yeah. But I guess like when you start with someone, uh, just as, ask some like questions like mm -hmm. how we doing this exercise, how did you like uh, uh, build uh, the program, mm -hmm. and also like, maybe asking if the, the trainer like keep taking some course. I guess like the main important thing is like to keep running. Mm -hmm. So you have I guess. I think like once, uh, once a year, like one new course every year, yeah. to help you like to get like new thing about like exercise, like programming, and if you have a client with injury, mm -hmm. to, to have like new tools on your bag yeah. to make sure like you can work with like multiple clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so know I you're always taking classes, yeah. so that's a good sign. <laughs> Yeah, and I also, um, I always ask him random questions like, you know, why are we doing this? You know, what is, what is this for? And every time Roman gives me a really good answer. So, well, let's show you the exercises. All right. Well, look at the size difference. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roman's gonna show you the professional version and I'm gonna show you the amateur struggle version. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye!